I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales on board the Axopar 45. Today I'm going to show you just how easy this boat is to dock single-handed. So let's go take a look. All right, so we're coming into the marina here and I like to run the boat in single lever mode. So as I'm coming in, I uh, need to bring the boat down to neutral and I can hit my single lever button so that I have control of both throttles when I'm coming into the dock here. So on the 45, we do have the Mercury JPO joystick here. Um, that's gonna be really helpful for me docking solo, especially with the skyhook function. It's gonna allow me to set my lines and fenders and get the boat all set up the way I want to before I'm actually docking. I don't have to do it while I'm coasting through the fairway here. So there's a lot of big boats, a lot of boats moving in and out of the docks and, the, and their slips. And you know I wanna be out of their way as best as I can. So we're right down this fairway here. We do have a pretty big wide open slip here, so uh, it's not exactly uh, a massive challenge, but I do think you know showing the process allows you to shrink the Axopar 45. So it's not a difficult boat to dock uh, solo. All right, so I'm gonna bring the boat to a stop here. We do have some breeze bringing us downwind here. I'm gonna hit the skyhook button. And that's gonna keep me in this general area. That'll allow me to get my systems going. So I've got my bow thruster button. I got that, bow thrusters on, I'm gonna test it. So we're good. And then I'm gonna go around, I wanna set up my camera here. So I've got a aft facing camera. Um, so I'm gonna go into this screen here and turn on my video. So I got my aft facing camera set up and I'm gonna go get my lines and fenders. So I'm just going to do three fenders and one line to get me started here, get me to the dock because I'm all by myself and that'll be the easiest way for me to go. When I'm setting my fenders here, I'm looking at the dock to see about how high it is. That's my midship fender there. And all I'm going to do is put this end of the loop in and you'll see how that's helpful for me. So while I'm out here in this docking portion here, you check these side walk arounds, the safety that I have, you know, kids, um, anybody else besides me, I'm not worried about them. Uh, we're coming in here to the dock. I can just ask them to stay in there, but even if they're out and running around, they're going to get in my way, but I don't have to worry about them, you know, falling overboard or something while I'm trying to dock, let alone underway. So, you know, you can see that height there. I'm 5'9", um, so you know, comes right up to my hip nicely. So I'll take it off of Skyhook now. Um, I am gonna use the joystick to bring myself into the slip. The cool part about the joystick is it allows me to go lock to lock without turning the steering wheel real hard, and I can also spin the boat really nicely. Um, so as we come in here to the dock, do have a nice big slip so I've got a ton of room for air which is great when you're solo docking but uh, this joystick makes it easy even if it's tight slip. So I've got some momentum going forward but what I want to do is line up my midship cleat with the cleat on the dock and you'll see exactly how I can do that with my, uh, with my engines here and the joystick. see in my camera here what else happening on my stern if I'm backing in I got a nice line up here I'm gonna come out to the dock Gonna loop around that. And I'm tie it tight. I can put the throttles in idle reverse here. And I'm gonna turn my engines that are gonna suck my stern into the dock. Uh, we'll be all set and ready, and I can set my other lines from there. 
And so we're pretty much all set here. I can tie my stern line up uh, very nicely and easily. Now I'm right here, I can tie this up and then I can either use the bow thruster or adjust the bow as I see fit and tie it up up there. Very easy. Thank you for watching this video on the Axopar 45. If you have any questions, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact information is right below the video.